this season might have um, developed some bespoke championship balls. What came about with this idea? Um, well, Mitre have had the uh, privilege of producing balls for the Football League for many years and we've tried to always innovate uh, with the Football League as well as uh, all the other products we do. And uh, the idea came about uh, to try and provide each club with their own ball. Each, each club has its own colours incorporated in the ball as well as its logo. And this allows then the club to not only uh, identify with the ball and bring back the idea of the home ball again, uh, the home and away game, uh, to make that uh, perhaps more definitive. But also it allows the club shop also to develop its own products for sale in the shop so the fans can buy their club's match ball. Uh, but not only the match ball, but they can also buy an exact replica in every way of the match ball at a very, very affordable price in their club, club shop. Um, we've developed a range of balls based on the revolve, revolve design and based on the look and feel of the materials. And in fact, the Revo, uh, which is the exact replica, not only replicates the look of the ball, but also the surface is exactly the same as the top match ball. So actually in the air the ball will move very, very similarly, it will bend, it will do many, many of the things that the ball, the top match ball will do. And it looks exactly like the top match ball. And we also have some park balls, some uh, recreational balls and even mini balls that they can go and collect autographs on if it, with exactly the same design and their club logo. And what is the Revolve ball made of? Well, contrary to a lot of opinion, uh, footballs are not now made of leather. Leather went out in about 1990. The revolve ball is made of a very advanced Japanese microfiber. The microfiber is what we call an artificial leather. Uh, and to many people it will look like leather. To many people it will feel like leather. And it's very, very soft. And it's made using fibres that are 3,000 times finer than a human hair. And these fibres are made fat by uh, making a fibre which is very, very small, maybe a hundred times finer than a human hair, out of two materials, polyester and nylon. And in the manufacturing process, the nylon is left when the polyester is dissolved away and leaves a bundle of very, very fine fibres, which when looked at through a microscope will look exactly like leather and have many of the properties of leather. So now instead of feeding cows better grass, we can get the absolute best material by designing that material from scratch. And that is what we've been able to do with this material, by combining a very, very soft microfiber with a very, very high abrasion, very, very fine textured surface. The Mitre Revolve Ball is unique in British football. Uh, one of the major differences with the Mitre Revolve Ball is that it's made from basically straight panels. These panels are long, straight uh, for a very good reason. They make the ball rounder. They make sure that the ball will stay round for longer. And they control the shape and the flight of the ball, absolutely. And in fact, in the revolve ball, there are 26 of these panels. And the seams and the panels play a very, very important part in the flight of the ball. These panels also have a special design. We call it our ellipse design which is exclusive to mitre and that ensures the ball not only stays in shape but immediately on inflation is in perfect shape and stays that way all its life and that's very important when players are looking for a fantastic accuracy from their ball. To stitch this ball is also very difficult. It's a hand stitched, hand crafted, hand made ball. It takes over three and a half hours to stitch one of these balls and every stitch is put in by hand and pulled tight and set in place. There are many components good into making a ball, but when these balls, these panels are stitched together, there are 1800 stitches put in place inside the ball. Every stitch very carefully pulled to a prescribed tension. It takes a lot of experience to, to do that. And in fact, the last panel can take up to 15 minutes to close the last panel. And finally, all the stitches, 